ramming up the region honors on the diamond. Welcome into sports, everyone. We've reached the end of the road, highlighting our spring sports stars on the diamond in both baseball and softball. And closing it out tonight is Antelope Rams Lady Softball, lighting up the region honors after a trip to the 1A state playoffs. So here we go. It was a great year for the Lady Rams in 2023 under Lacey and Rocky Jaime, locking in 15 wins, which is the most in a season for the program in over two decades, and the most they've won since Four, oh, sorry, since they've won 14 games back in 2016, earning them another trip back to the 1A state playoffs. And the talent sure came to the surface, and by the time the end of the season awards rolled around, eight Lady Rams found themselves on the 1A West All-Region first and second team lists, four of them even earning honorable mentions for the 1A All-Conference recognitions. And those four were a treat to watch. Urelli Manriquez and Marissa Carrillo both getting first team nods in the region for their pitching. Manriquez winning seven games with a 3.48 ERA and over 58 and a third innings pitched. Carrillo going a perfect 5-0 in the circle with a 4.69 ERA. And while they both hit well at the plate, it was other fellow senior Jimena Arana and sophomore Alina Jaime lighting up the numbers at the dish, each collecting 40-plus hits and combining for 80 RBIs. Jaime also with a staggering 40 stolen bases and then four more rounded out the second team list, led by Jocelyn Guion with 30 hits in her senior season with a 558 average. Junior Kylie Richmond added 23 hits and a 460 average, and then two more sophomores, Katie Williams sporting 37 hits and 22 RBIs with 44 stolen bags and Lysley Kyrie Arana batting 641 over 17 games for the Rams. It was a season to remember and one they'll never forget putting their team on the map. I think that we all can do something if we really wanted to. We all work hard for it. We all um, showed up for our team and for our coaches, mostly for our team, showing up here and working hard every day. It was special. It was it was nice yeah. because like Antelope's hardly ever heard of. You know, it's a small school, so it was cool to like kind of get it out there, make us known somehow. When you're putting on a putting on a Rams jersey, you know what you're representing and you know where you're coming from, and it feels really good to come from a team that we have because we're all very close. And so knowing that while I'm putting on that jersey, I'm coming from a good team and that supports me and supports all of our accomplishments. It feels very, very good. Also, a shout out to Abigail Lucera, Joanna Maglion, and Isela Marquez for region honorable mentions. Congratulations to the Rams on a great season. And in case you missed it, the Yuma Catholic Lady Shamrocks loaded up in awards in the 3A division, even touching all conference knots in the 3A West region. Alyssa Soto and Cherish Trujillo received first team honors along with all conference recognition alongside Cody Lay and Maylene Milan. Mia Hernandez, Alondra Cordova and Michaela Gonzalez all received second team recognition. But to the highest honors in the region, Already with a conference honorable mention under her belt as a sophomore, Cherish Trujillo reeled in the region defensive player of the year. Trujillo tossed 109 in the third innings in the circle where she sported a 2.81 ERA. She went 16-3 and with six complete game shutouts and 105 strikeouts to show for it. Meanwhile, head coach Jared Lackey taking the reins as the region coach of the year. While well, Lackey says region honors don't mean too much and the ultimate goal remains the same in building their way towards a state championship, he knows he has the right group to do it. And Cherish Trujillo follows the same sentiment that it was the whole team responsible for the season awards. Fortunate that a big group of very talented girls that that uh, have been playing softball a long time all came in together, and uh, it, it showed. They, they worked their butts off. They play together. They have really really good chemistry, and and they compete hard. That's the main thing. You know, we ran into a couple teams that were just as talented as us, and and they uh, outcompeted them several times. It really means a lot because it's been a lot of hard work and obviously I didn't do it alone. I've had a lot of help from my team and you know I knew if I was there and hitting my spots and changing up speed when needed that my defense would have my back and just being playing together and really having the high energy. But we also know that it's not going to get any easier. Trujillo adding that more hard work starts now towards next season. That is all the time we have for sports. <laughs>